What is up guys, welcome back to the channel guys, we back here in Sweden We got the bright side of living in Sweden Now this channel is living Swedish, we're about to check this out uh, This is part one, so we're talking about the pros here And I've done so much about Sweden and I can't wait to visit, I really can't And the pros of living there, we finna check this out once I press, the pros there we go. and the cons of living in Sweden. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about what makes Sweden so attractive for foreigners, but also what could be challenging for new people or Swedes alike. I've been living here for one year and three months already. Nice. So I have a little bit of experience. I thought it could be quite interesting to know what are the pros and cons, at least from my perspective. So people can think about if they want to move here to Sweden and make up their own opinion. Mm -hmm. And then we can also see whoever watches this video, what your opinion is. So don't forget to share with me your opinion in the comments down below. Hey, hey, and welcome to my channel. Hey, hey. I'm Yuli and I'm originally from Germany. Oh, I moved nice. here Germany. with my British partner and we have two daughters, an almost four year old and a six month year old. I talk oh, about nice. Sweden and yeah, I love <laughs> it so far. But I want to talk a little bit more about the pros and cons and therefore I'm making this video today. I hope you enjoy this video and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. For sure, for sure. Gotta subscribe. Let's start with the bright side. Why is it amazing to move to Sweden? My first pro would be it is great for kids. Mm, My thought process is a little thing. bit, it's no longer just about us parents it is now about the kids as well. So when I think about the future, I think about my kids' future. And I was thinking, where could they grow up? Where is it amazing for them? Where and I think this is the first time, because, you know, I did a lot of when it comes to culture shocks and stuff, you know, and it's always on the adult end. You know, most, I, I think all the creators I did from Sweden, I don't think most of them have kids. So this is probably the first person that actually have kids and a family in Sweden, you know, so Where could good to you hear. be happy as a family? So if you have kids or if you're planning to have kids soon, then I think Sweden could be the right destination okay. for you. Okay, I Sweden? think most kindergartens here are really well planned. They have great curriculums. They focus on the individual as well as the community. They teach them creativity, responsibility, kindness, and even democracy. And on another note, it is quite affordable for parents. I really like, I like that, that Sweden wants us to work, both parents, and therefore you have to make it quite affordable. I mean, if I just compare it to the UK, it was absolutely nuts. Where it's expensive in the UK? almost spent half or sometimes your whole salary on childcare. And here oh, you wow. really get the possibility to work and send your kids to childcare. Yes, there are a few rules about it. And I talked about this in another video. Don't the government, I thought the government give like a childcare, uh, like checks, like you get money monthly. Cause I think I just seen in Switzerland they do it. I just seen a video about Switzerland. Uh, I know the Netherlands. I think the Netherlands do it. I want to say there's, it's like a you know they give the parents something every two three months or something like that. And depending on how old the child is, that's how much money you'll receive by the age. You know the age difference of the child or something so for example i don't think this is how it really is so say for instance if i have a five-year-old he'll probably get like 200 300 dollars but if i have a like a 10 11 year old he'll go and get he's going to get a little bit more or probably a little bit less than what the toddler would get type of i don't think those those are not the exact numbers so don't quote me on that but i believe in the netherlands it was like two to three months they would get something for like child Help. And if you have any questions, obviously feel free to ask me in the comments down below. I also find it quite safe for children. I mean, I That's see good. children running around all the time and they're quite young, as young as seven or eight. They're on their bikes, they're with friends. If you compare it, for example, with the US, that's almost impossible or you get reported for letting your kids out free because just about, it's just yeah. a little bit too dangerous and well, i nowadays. think sweden is really great for it so kids can also learn to be independent quite yeah. early on and, it and i feel like that's it's a nowadays type of thing because back then we could walk to the store I, I remember being in maybe second grade so i was probably seven or eight years i remember walking to the store either by myself or with my brother 
and he was just a year or two years older than me so i like i remember those days clearly like we could ride the bike around the corner walk anywhere i walked from school like you don't see that nowadays i think it's a nowadays thing here in the states because back then it was a little bit more lenient so it's getting a little really bit more dangerous big here pro and related to kids is the parental leave here in sweden it's really well organized you get 480 days for one child and this can be divided between the parents but the really good mm. part is also that mostly it's the dad or one parent has to at least take 90 days otherwise oh, wow. it just goes to waste that means that really both parents should have an opportunity to look after the child and bond with the child i like that i like that that's, i think, I think that's the important. whole idea and it's made possible because of the generous parental leave. Yes, it has a cap, so you don't get loads and loads amount of money, but it is enough to survive here in Sweden yeah. and to make it comfortable and, you know, to really want to take some leave and look after your child. I will mention this in a second, but another thing I thought is really great for kids is the nature for them. Nature. I saw, especially during summer, that there are groups of kids just hanging out by lakes, you know by the sea mm -hmm. there are some amazing views over stockholm as well and you can just like hang out there and uh, play in that's nature nice. and and that's really everywhere i think that's why i'm highlighting it of course you have it in other countries as well but especially in and around stockholm because that's what i know at mm -hmm. the moment and i'm sure in other cities in sweden and in sweden in general there are so many amazing places and it's just beautiful to spend time there as a child or as a nice, teenager. Create those memories. So yeah, let's talk about nature. Of course, I have to say that because Sweden is well known for its beautiful nature. Yes, there's winter, but even in winter, you do a lot of outdoor things like outdoor sports, ice skating, snowboarding, skiing, barbecues in the winter. Hey, which I barbecues in the winter? Videos. And I'm sure there's plenty oh, more stuff to do in winter, which I'm not. I don't usually barbecue in the winter because it'd be cold, but. Well, you know, I did smoke a turkey, so technically I put that on the grill, you know. Aware of yet. But yeah, I think Sweden the smoker, is so beautiful. Like a barbecue you too. do want to live in this country and you want to explore the nature in Sweden. Again, I haven't even explored a fraction of it, but I'm so excited to do that over the next years. Mm -hmm. I'm not even a big outdoor fan, but I feel like it's really hard not to love nature when you live here. You want to make the most out of it. And if you're already a nature lover, an outdoor lover, then I have the feeling Sweden could be the country mm -hmm. for you. So nice. let's talk a little bit about work-life balance here in Sweden, the holidays and the summer all in one package. I think that's a massive pro for sweden of course people working hard here but they also really value their private time mm -hmm. their family that's time. good yeah so they're trying to do everything within those working hours which i think everyone should do right work. and that's what i i seen on the switzerland video they said on sunday they really take pride in like you really have to rest on sundays or something like that and they some i think but did it say somebody got fined or you can get fined for doing any type of work on Sunday in Switzerland? So, but it's like work life balance. You do want to be able to take care of certain things within your work hours and, you know, have that time with your family. You know, it shouldn't be stressing over work. I feel like here in the States, people are stressed, 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 and they can have everything that they need and they still stress. Why? Because it's not enough. You can already, you know, around 40 hour weeks and that's a lot of time spent away Already, from yeah, home. It is, yeah. So you want to make sure that you finish on time and you can spend time with your loved ones. So I think that could be a really big pro if you want to work in one mm -hmm. of the Swedish companies. I mean, I'm talking more of experience from my partner rather than myself because I haven't worked in a Swedish company here. But yeah, they also mm. try to provide you with you know company activities parties or fikas you know they don't Fika. want you to burn out they want you to enjoy work and they don't want you to quit so mm. they do provide <laughs> things to make it easier of course i'm not speaking for every swedish company mm -hmm. here so that's more like a personal experience but the work-life balance is definitely a thing here in sweden and then there nice, are nice. the holidays as far as I know, you get around 25 to 30 days of holidays, 
which is quite a lot compared to other countries. I remember Definitely more when than here. I researched Canada because that was actually an option to move to Canada. Oh. I discovered with a shock that they only have 10 days of holidays, which really was a I didn't big know that big Canada. Con for Canada. And another thing which happens here in Sweden is that you should take at least three, four weeks in the summer to relax, to wind down, and I like to that. kind of that's a get good away thing. from work and really relax and come back refreshed. And that's kind of like a thing here. You and I feel like that's a good thing because here you have, I mean, some people have time. You might can take off a week, but the most I've seen somebody take off was a week. It wasn't two to three weeks. The only people that I know, I worked in education and teachers, um, teaching, teachers, staff, everybody, probably except the janitors, I guess. Um, maybe the lunch ladies, depending on summer school and all those things. Those are the only people I knew that got like two months off straight working in education. That's about it. Everybody else, unless you have like PTO, you know, that time to take off, you're probably only taking a week off at a time. You kind of have to take it. My partner did it for the first time and it was great to have him home for such a long time. Mm -hmm. We could do a lot of family activities, but also take care of the house because we just moved in summer into the new house and we had a lot of things to do, a lot of things to buy. And yeah, I mentioned the summer. I think the summer here in Sweden is really gorgeous. And you just want to be like here I can't in wait Sweden it. when it's summer and that's mainly June, July, August. And you want to explore and go and spend time at the many beaches and lakes and in nature, which I mentioned before. So yeah, that is another really big pro. The work-life balance here in Sweden. If you want to move to Sweden, mm -hmm. that might be something beneficial to you. And I also sure. wanted to mention sustainability. Actually, Which is my important. partner, when I ask him what are the pros of living here in Sweden, that's the first thing he mentioned. And it's about the sustainable mindset Sweden mm -hmm. has. It's about the recycling. They really nailed it here. So if you do care about the environment and about recycling, Sweden, Sweden is definitely is the place a good to be. country. You may know or may not know that in Sweden, about 99% of all household waste is recycled as energy and materials, putting Sweden at the top in this area. I mean, that is pretty cool. Of mm -hmm. course, bear in mind, it depends where you're coming from. My partner's from the UK and definitely they're not that advanced. If you come from Germany, it might be similar. But then again, Sweden is yeah. on top of things. So I see you, Sweden. I see you. I good see you. reason maybe to move to Sweden if you care about the environment. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about the language. language. As a foreigner, it can be quite intimidating moving to another country. So obviously Sweden speaks Swedish, but the big pro here is that almost everyone speaks English and really, really That's well. Good. Maybe some people haven't spoken much English, but their English is still pretty good. And that's something really nice that's important, when you that's come important. here as a foreigner. And when I think about my kids as well, I actually want to send them to a Swedish school. But because they teach English quite early on and really well, as I can tell from the people here, it's good if they have a really good level of English and I don't have to send them to an international school to make sure that their English is mm -hmm. really good. I myself have to take care of the German part, so I definitely will have to teach them German. But I'm confident them English German. will be part of their school life. You can compare it That's to other nice. countries like Germany, but I would say in Germany, not everyone can speak English very well i mean mm. my parents can not speak any english oh wow but that's also because they grew up in east germany if you know the history yeah there are still differences i think sweden is really really good so here you go nice these are my pros and cons of living in sweden i hope you enjoyed them if you have definitely got to check add, out part two if you have any questions of course please leave me a comment down in the section below thank you so much for watching till the end i hope i will see you in my next video until then have a great day and stay safe hey do hey do yeah i like this i gotta i'm gonna subscribe live in swedish that was good uh definitely gonna have to check out those uh cons the cons of living in sweden but all in all, I like Sweden. I think it's a great country. Uh, and it's 
country that I said, this is going to be the first country, the first time I go see another country. Why not allow it to be Sweden? Why not? But the bright side, I like this because, like you said, it was more on the family end. So just hearing that perspective is always good to know. Like, Because I know I've, I've, I've heard or seen in videos for the Netherlands how safe it is for kids and stuff like that. Not saying I haven't for Sweden, but I think this is the first person that I, I gotta be the first person I've watched that have a family and mention like a lot more about four kids type of thing. You know, I think everybody else, I don't think I'm much more of the creators had kids. At least I don't think, but always interested to see, you know. I, I was just saying in another video, I gotta focus on the future, gotta help the future, you know. The kids are the future, but. That's all I have for this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down those recommendations. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.